and you've also been a TEDx speaker. Yes. And you've spoken about the connection between aerobic exercise, mm -hmm. learning memory, and creativity. Yes. What is the connection? Yeah, so that connection really focuses on this key brain area that's critical for long-term memory, this area called the hippocampus. And um, that connection is, um, I love to tell people this because they don't realize it. So um, as I mentioned before, there's only two brain areas where brand new brain cells are born when we're adults. And one of them is the olfactory bulb that I talked about before, and the second one is the hippocampus, this, this structure that we know is critical for memory. And so without doing anything special, both you and I have brand new hippocampal cells that are regularly being born in the hippocampus. But we now know that aerobic exercise can significantly enhance the number of new brain cells born in the hippocampus, as well as enhance their survival. Many of the new neurons born in the hippocampus die. But when you exercise, not only are more neurons born in the hippocampus, but more of them survive and get incorporated into the hippocampus. So why is that good? It's good because we know that these new brain cells are um, particularly active and they seem to be particularly engaged in forming new memories. So I don't know about you, but I want as many brand new hippocampal cells as I can get. And we know that one of the answers to that is increased aerobic exercise. So I use that as my motivation to drag myself out of bed so I can get to my 6.30 a.m. kickboxing class in the morning, for example. And what about creativity? What's the connection between exercise and creativity? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So um, I've just told you that, that exercise can enhance new neurons in the hippocampus, and we've known for such a long time that the hippocampus is important for memory. But much more recently, we've come to appreciate that another function of the hippocampus um, beyond memory is uh, learning and memory is the ability to um, imagine future scenarios. How do we know that? Well, a very smart researcher in London um, asked a group of patients um, with damage to their hippocampus, not only do you have a good memory, they had terrible memories, but can you imagine a tropical beach scene and describe it for me? None of them had been to a tropical beach. And they had a very difficult time doing that compared to their age and education match controls. Important to note that these subjects did not have language abil uh, disabilities. They had perfectly normal language abilities. They just couldn't come up with a coherent description of something that they had never experienced before. And that led people to the understanding that one of the functions of the hippocampus is imagination, being able to put things in your memory and in your kind of database together in new ways, in an imaginative way. And as we know, imagination is a core function required of creativity. So one of the hypotheses that I'm working on right now is that exercise may not only enhance learning and memory, but it may help creativity as well. And I'm particularly interested in that because I feel like that's what, I'm, what I noticed in myself. Not only was my memory and my intention, attention improved with exercise, but I feel like I've become much more creative, not only in my science, but also in my teaching since this exercise uh, has come into my life.